so hello everyone in this video we'll be completing our search bar and this will be it and our first version of dodo will be completed so let's work on this search system and then see what happens so I'll be going inside the code and I have my search bar which is this one in this I'll be adding on change event and I can write handle search and I can create this method or function you know that in on change we get a event in which we can grab the value or the query from this input element with the help of e dot target dot value right so in this e dot target dot value we'll be having our query if i let's say write something if i log it out and if i see my console let me just clear other things if i write something so you can see i'm i'm able to see this uh, search queries here because of this so let me just also create at the top one more state for filtering out all the filtered or the searched results so i'll be storing uh, the searched result inside this filtered to do so this will be our state which will store the result after finding it from the all to do list so this is will be there let me just go to that handle search and filter the things so i can filter out by filtered list let's say and all to do and I can add a filter method which allows us to filter items according to a condition uh, now I can specify title so I'll be uh, like finding the elements with the help of title so this item is basically the task so in this all to do we have all the elements or all the tasks and this item is the individual uh, to do task and I'm matching uh, item dot title whether it matches with this query or not so I'll be uh, checking the lower case so I'll be first converting is uh, this title to a lower case value because let's say if uh, this uh, I'm searching for John Wick so if I don't lower like if I don't convert it to a lower case so it uh, I would have to write in the same casing so this John will work only not this John will work so that's why I want to uh, check or search the items without checking the case so without any case you can just search without matching the cases so that's why I'm uh, converting it to lower case and then I will be having this match method this match method allows us to uh, ma like gives us the uh, it gives us a condition true or false whether it matches with this title or not whether if I pass something so it matches in this text or it contains it is contained in the inside this whole string or not inside this whole title or not so if I am passing John so it will search the entire string or entire title string and find whether it contains these letters or these characters or not so that uh, that is how it works basically this match and I'll be converting the query also into this lowercase so all of them like uh, the title will also be in the lowercase and the query will also be in the lowercase and I'm passing it inside this match method because I want to check the query uh, whether this uh, query or this uh, search string matches inside this title or not without checking the cases because I have converted both of them to a lowercase so they are in the same case now so it will return if it matches otherwise it will not return so it will return the items which matches so if I uh, log filtered list filtered list here so it will give me the list of all the items which matches this particular string if I search for let's say I'm searching for John you can see we have this in here you can see 
I am I am getting this John Wick movie updated. Only this item I have got, right? So if I search for test, let's say, so I have got two two items or two uh, to do task which contains test. One is test two and other one is test three. If I search for only test two or test two, so you can see we have it. Test two is there. This one, right? So this is basically the case. Now I'll be setting it to our state. So in here I'll be checking if filtered list dot length is greater than zero, then I'll be setting it to our filtered list of filtered to do whatever the filtered list I'll be setting. Otherwise, if uh, the filter list is empty, then I'll be uh, setting the filter to do back to empty string. So back to an empty array. This is very necessary to let, let's say if some something isn't available. So we'll not be uh, showing the items. We'll just be showing that it is not there. It is empty. Basically, that will be showing. So that's it. And then after that, what I have to do is simply I have to go inside this to do task, uh, this current to do task map, and I have to do one simple thing. I have to copy this line and I have to check for filter to do. If the length of the filter to do is greater than zero, which means our search has some item or search list has some item, then I'll be showing our search list basically i'll be mapping with my search list and in uh, instead of current to do task i'll be mapping this filter to do so this way our search will work so let's say if i have something if i search for john so you can see we have this john in the task if i search for test so I've got two tests. One is test two and test three. So this is working perfectly fine. If I don't have anything, so nothing is there. You can see we have nothing. Uh, yep, that is it. And then that will work. Also, a filter to do list and current to do list. John, 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 test two. Okay, yeah, one more thing I have to do. I have to also make a check whether this is there or not. Also, if the length is greater than a zero, and one more check if the query is there, right? So, if the query is not there, then I will not do anything, right? So, that is also the case. Otherwise, it will return me. Uh, the like completed and complete both the list in in one line, right? So I have to may, uh, take care of that. So if I search for John, so John should be there. If I search for test, test should be there. If I don't have any string, so I'll be getting only the uh, current list, which is test two. And if I go to complete, so I'll be getting the complete list. So that is way you have to fix that out as well. Similarly, what you can also do, you can also add an empty uh, element or empty component. Let's say uh, if any user doesn't have any any kind of list. So what we can do is we can show the user. We can show the user. Uh, let's say if current to do task is empty let's say let's say if it is empty then we can show empty element right so that empty element will be basically in a wrapper let me just copy the wrapper from the other page because I've forgotten the state or like the class uh, yeah you can see I have this this one wrapper this wrapper you have to paste this one no task wrapper 
so what it will do is if the current to do task length is greater than zero which means if the uh, list of items have some items so all uh, this is our current list basically the all all the list basically if it has some items so it, it will show that otherwise what we can do we can show the empty element empty element is basically given by and design itself so this empty element we can import from the end design let me just show you that in picture so if I remove it let's say if I log in with a different user do I have Aman Kumar nope we don't have so let me just log in with Aman Kumar or create a user of Aman Kumar and show you that in action so if I register okay person is registered if I log in you can see we have this uh, beautiful uh, icon and note data so this is coming because of this uh, this empty that we have added this one because if you don't have any element in the current list that means we have to show this kind of options it is very good for the user experience that's why we are working like this and if I add something now let's say uh, hello this is completed if I add something now so it won't be there and it will show the current list and that's it so this is working perfectly fine and if it is in the completed list so we can go inside the completed list and if I want to switch it you can switch it and if I want to make it incomplete so the complete list will be not there and the incomplete will be available so this way we have completed our first version of dodo app in which we can add a to do task in the next version of app in future we'll be adding some ai functionality to it to auto generate a to do task list for a particular work with the help of open ai apis so that will work that will be doing in the second version of this app so thank you for watching let's meet in the next video thank you bye bye